Hello YouTube, this is Transforms Fan G138, and I'm here with some exciting news about um, me. And that is okay. That was pretty anticlimactic. Anyway, I'm starting two new regular YouTube shows. Um, each one is going to be on once a week, and hopefully roughly the same day. Depends on when I actually get around to filming it. Um, some weeks I'll obviously skip, but one of which you're watching now. And that is G138 and other such fun. And interesting, there's an interesting story with that title, but I'm going to save that for a different episode. For now, um, I'm going to talk to you about my other new show. And that is G138's Lego Mocks or MOCs. Um, basically, they're my own creations. That's what it stands for. And that's just going through a bunch of my cool LEGO creations I've created over the years, which I still have, mostly all together. So yes, I'll be going through those. The first episode will also be on today. Um, I'm also going to be continuing with my video reviews. Pretty standard. Um, I got some cool upcoming projects, one of which I will be sharing with you today. It's unfortunately not uh, particularly a YouTube project, but uh, I will be uploading kind of periodic updates on it. And uh, I actually have a preview of it somewhere, which I was planning on showing you guys. It's around. Just gotta find it. Ah, I found it. I'm not showing it to you yet, but briefly and shortly. Okay. So, basically G138 and other such fun is going to consist of me talking about... Transformers and other such fun, basically. Um, not everything's going to be surrounded by Transformers every time. Sometimes I'm going to be on a physics tangent, because I am a physics major. And that's always fun. Like coefficient of friction and all that. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about some really cool stuff. Like Transformers Prime. The toy line? Hmm, interesting. Not really. I'm just using this as a lead-in for what I really want to talk about, which is... This guy! His name is Thundertron. And... Yeah. Mm, not really feeling him. However, after seeing a ton of pictures of him... Um... And finally waking up this morning and looking at another picture of him, at a right angle, I just got this epiphany. So, I hopped on Photoshop, and took the picture I just showed you, and modified it. You see what I see? I see victory, Leo! And here's a nice comparison between the two. Same picture, by the way. Awesome. So this is going to be my upcoming project. Um, as far as it goes, I'm going to be using pretty much gold color for all the uh, brown parts you see here. It's close to gold I get. Uh, he's got cannons, which I'm going. I have an interesting way of making those. I think I'm going to use um, the casings from Bic pens. Yep. Bic pens, of all things. Um, the wings in the back, I'm going to use... I'm going to use uh, my uh, plexiglass for. That's going to be cool. And I'm going to try to track down a Generations Megatron for the head. Because his head is in the general shape of the correct head. And this is obviously not... Anyway, I haven't done a mock-up of the vehicle form yet, because I really don't know what all the pieces do in vehicle form. Yet. So, yes, I can't wait to get my hands on this guy and start customizing. So, the actual original figure doesn't do it for me, but this custom and the motivation for it will be awesome. It'll look great next to my custom Star Saber. So, be on the lookout for updates on that guy. Um, I realize my photoshopping skills are not that great. I did this in about 20 minutes, which is actually pretty fast, considering. 
Well, that is my upcoming project there. And um, my, the preview I uploaded a while ago about my um, Mega Man custom Lego figures, I've got a few of them done. I'm still waiting on something for Zero, and I want to finish him before I uh, start showing off some of the characters. Um, on top of that, I also have a whole variety of uh, Mega Man Battle Network weapons for Lego figures, which I will probably be showing off in Episode 2 or 3 of this show, just because it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this is kind of just talking about Transformers. It's going to be a brief episode this week, you know, kind of just an introduction, you know, showing off some of my cool projects. I'll have a couple of uh, Transformers Online-oriented episodes, as well as a couple other things. Now, another one of my upcoming projects, um, I am still not, haven't got around to it. I've got to change the audio on episode... 38, I believe it is, of my Transformers Online, so they it got taken down due to copyright issues, unfortunately. So that's for all of you who've been asking for it. Uh, it's been down for almost a year, and I've yet to do that. Um, I do have the files, I just need to recreate them on my computer in the right location so it actually recognizes them. That's not easy to do. That aside... Um, I will be doing a couple of segments, including a Q&A &A session for Transformers Online, whatever questions you have, as well as I'll be doing a couple of Transformers Online videos where I'm, I unfortunately can't, I don't have the time to stop motion, it's very time consuming. For any of you who've done it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I have a whole bunch of stories and unused stories for, that I was going to incorporate into Transformers Online that I wasn't unable to due to time constraint. And I would, I'm actually going to use these sessions as kind of like telling you guys what I was going to do, some of these awesome ideas. So if one of you out there want to use it, feel free to. Um, those will be coming out eventually. Um, but first I'll do the Q&A stuff. I'll answer the questions... Uh, on my next episode of this. So, ask away. If you have any question, any at all, there's no stupid questions unless there is. I'm sorry. There is such things as stupid questions. Um, if you have any questions about the story, the plot, the characters, the w reasons I did certain things, please ask. Um, please, if you feel like it's going to be a um, dumb question, and you don't want to ask it on the comments below, you can email me at the email that's in the description. So, that's cool. And uh, I will check that email before I do my um, Q&A next week. I'll answer them next week. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much this episode. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, and I'll also be talking about the Wreckers soon, too. Um, mainly because I've got a lot of negative feedback from people watching my YouTube series and complaining about the Wreckers I use are not Wreckers. And unfortunately, I don't want to say they're misinformed, but they are misinformed. Most of the characters I used as Wreckers were Wreckers at one point or another. Now, maybe not in the Generation 1 universe. And maybe not in the most current series, but at one point, they were wreckers in some lore. Or some lore. I use lore all the time. I shouldn't use it anymore. Um, some continuity. And that's usually what I'm referring to in these uh, Transformers Online episodes are the IDW-verse. I would use other wreckers, but I didn't have them at the time. Which is why I'm really, really, really excited for the upcoming um, reun uh, whatever reunion or I forget how to pronounce it, but the um, set of Bruticus combiners repainted and remolded as the wreckers. I'm really excited for them, um, and you know they're repaints, which okay, they're out of the fall Cybertron, yeah they're hollow, but at least we're getting the characters. And I like them because they're a little bit better scale than I originally anticipated. 
Uh, you can check out uh, my review of Bruticus. Um, that's one of my more popular reviews, actually. Um, I also do the individual pieces, which nobody seems to care about. They just want to see the combined mode. <laughs> but, uh, yep, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's in. Um, I am getting some really cool stuff for my birthday on the 20th. So you can look forward to some really cool reviews, including uh, Dream Makers. I believe that's what the company's called. The add-on sets for War Fall... No, it's War for Cybertron, Optimus, and Megatron. Um, weapon sets and uh, limb sets. And uh, it really, I got them for the posable hands for Megatron and the um, opening chest with Matrix for Optimus Prime. And as soon as I install those and such... I am going to do a review on those. Those will be really cool. In addition to that, I also have a alternity, alternity die atlas on the way, and that is going. It's a pretty much a die cast metal car that transforms into Optimus Prime. However, it's repainted to kind of sort of resemble die atlas from the Transformers. Japanese show Transformers Zone, which I have not been able to watch. However, I'm getting him because he was in the Drift comic book. And I'm trying to accumulate the leaders and some of the Japanese characters, hence why I'm going to make a custom of Victory Leo. Unfortunately, I don't see any way of yet combining Victory Leo with Star Saber, but eventually. One other thing I wanted to mention today was the awesome Encore edition of Fortress Maximus. I so want that guy, but I do not have the almost $400 to drop on him. Well, that being said, maybe one day I will be able to afford him. And um, I like the Japanese incarnation better. I don't like the whole spike being his head thing. Uh, I'd much rather it be the Japanese edition where the head is a robot, which pilots a robot, which pilots another robot. So, that's cool. In my opinion. Trans techers rule. Binary bonding, not so much. <sighs> yep, well, that pretty much covers that. Um, yeah, I, I think that pretty much covers everything I want to talk about today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this update slash rant slash whatever. So, see you next week.